Another week, and yes, once again, the SBA is screwing over millions of small businesses with unnecessary delays in the idle grant and 24 months of working capital programs. What is going on? Will we finally see the money that we were promised over a year ago? All this and more in today's video. Hello and welcome to Stephen Carlson Show. I'm Stephen Carlson. I'm a tech entrepreneur, real estate investor, author, YouTuber, paramedic, and once again, Bonnie and Clyde are chasing each other around the couch. I've said this before, but it really does bear repeating. We're kind of at the point right now where honestly I doubt that we will ever get the money that we were promised if we just continue to sit around and wait for it. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. The road to getting the funding that we were promised, the funding that we need, and yeah, damn right, the funding we are going to fight for, it's going to be a long journey ahead of us. One of these steps is putting more pressure on DC, just like I say every week in these videos, but it does truly help. Comment down below with the hashtag Team Idol, share this video everywhere, get the word out that as business owners, we are standing together and we are a united front. And of course, before I go any further, you guys already know this. I have a team of outstanding lawyers that Clyde keeps chained up so they don't escape. The only problem with these stinking lawyers, they get a little ratty when I make a video. The only way to calm these lawyers down is to give a quick disclaimer. The opinions in this video, they're exactly that. They're opinions. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a financial advisor. So this is not legal financial tax advice. All right, enough of that. Let's get to today's video. Over the past few weeks, I've been noticing a trend in the comments that you guys have been leaving down below. Many of you are kind of new to the whole SBA idle program and you're just completely confused as to what I'm talking about. So how about I give just a quick recap at the beginning of this video so that everyone's able to catch up and be on the same page. But don't worry, if you already know what's going on, just sit through the next minute or two. I promise I have some important information for you as well. The CARES Act authorized the U.S. Small Business Administration to administer loans to small businesses that were severely impacted by COVID. The initial plan was to give a $2 million loan, based upon the size of your business, of course, under the Emergency Injury Disaster Loan, IDLE, program. And Congress knew, just like all of us know, that any type of loan takes 30 to 45 days. It's just not an overnight process. So one of the things that Congress added to the CARES Act was they authorized a $10,000 advance to the program so that the SBA was able to give you some of your money in the very first few days of the process so you didn't have to wait until the entire loan was approved. You're still with me, right? Okay. In theory, it was a decent plan. Not perfect by any means. Uh, well, come on, Congress came up with it, so you know it can't be a very great idea. But in previous videos, I outlined a much simpler program that would have worked much better. But in the end, the CARES Act is what we had. The problem was Congress came up with the rules for most of the IDA program without thinking it through. How was the SBA going to administer this program? Then, on top of that, just to make things worse, politicians being politicians, they would go out in front of the news cameras and claim things were in the law that were never written into the law. This is where the phraseology grant came from, as it was a misunderstanding of the advance. And they turned this advance into a grant, which was never the original intention. Then the floodgates of scammers and spammers and crooks quickly flooded the entire system applying for $10,000 worth of free money. And it turned the idle program into just a cesspool of corruption and filth, leaving honest, hardworking small business owners like yourself with nothing. Very few small business owners ever receive the $10,000 as promised. And the SBA very quickly capped those $2 million loans to $150,000. As time went on, the politicians kept referring to that $10,000 grant. Then YouTubers jumped onto it, and then Congress created the targeted idle advance and the supplemental idle advance and made everything much more confusing, and they added stupid predefined criteria, so you may be able to get $15,000 instead of $10,000. It was a complete mess. Plus, then they increased the loan cap from one hundred and fifty. dollars not to two million, but to 500,000 and called that the 24 months of working capital. Many people that were technically not entitled to the IDLE program applied and clogged up all the lines for us, the legitimate small business owners that were in need. Then you toss in the normal level of government incompetence and bureaucratic red tape, and you have one heck of a mess on your hands. Okay, now I think everybody's kind of on the same page. 
Do you still have any questions on the history of Idol? Comment down below and I'll try and answer them and that way I won't take up this entire video just on the history. Now let's move on to today's Idol news update. But before I get to that, look, we all know the government is screwing this up completely and we cannot rely upon them to help us out. We're entrepreneurs and we went into business because we knew that we had something unique to offer the marketplace. I'm in the process of building a massive resource list and awareness campaign for small businesses across the country. This list will be everything that someone needs to start their business or expand an existing business, all without the help or reliance upon the federal government. If you have any suggestions for this list, head over to my website, www.stephencarlson.show, link is down below, and fill out the comment form at the bottom of the page and share that information with us. Thanks. And we pray that tomorrow we're gonna to get some news regarding the $2 million caps in 45016. Look, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the worst kept secret now for the last several weeks. And if you read the Dallas Morning News, which is still pinned on Twitter, when Natalie Waters, who is one of the angels in terms of supporting small business owners, she's been roasting the SBA, and rightly so, with the facts over the course of the last couple of months. And what I found funny while I'm thinking of it, speak and see another great video yesterday where he, he, he talked about in that article, one of the gentlemen who got rejected from the SBA is a former loan officer. So you got to read that article. It's, it's, it's jam-packed with more dysfunction and incompetence. But try to imagine this. You have to believe that a former SBA loan officer knows how to fill out a fucking application, right? Well, apparently, because he had to make an adjustment with respect to his tax form, he ends up getting declined. And then in another case, which I find even more unbelievable, after a back and forth with a business owner that was struggling to get his or her application funded, the SBA loan officer admitted... I haven't had any training. Folks, I have heard in the last 24 hours from very good sources that the SBA, are you sitting down, has lost 20% of their workforce in the last 30 days. 20% out the door. In fact, you may have seen Max Maher, somebody I love and respect dearly, his source at the SBA, which has been dumping politically correct bullshit down all of our throats over the last several months, is gone. They've either quit or been reassigned, and even he is getting the same copy and paste bullshit that we all read in the papers the other day. So, ladies and gentlemen, you want to wonder why 96% of small business owners in this country have not gotten a dime with respect to the 24 months of capital? It's not just because of inexperienced loan officers who haven't had any fucking training. It's not because of ex-loan officers that can't even get approved for a loan. It's because they have lost at least one in five in the last 30 days as the shift from the Office of Disaster Assistance over to those that handled PPP last year. So We have heard this over and over again. The SBA is such a mess. Even their own staff is saying, screw it, and they're bailing. What hope do we have? Well, honestly, not much. Until someone in a senior leadership position decides to make changes, nothing's going to happen. And sadly, right now, at the moment, it looks like just everything is more empty promises. There's very little actionable facts of things to come. But once again, we all need to work together and not rely upon those idiots in the federal government. As I said, I'm building this resource list for all of you. So please contribute to it and let me know what resources you are looking for. Beyond just grants and money, what do you need to make your business a success? Comment down below or go to the website and let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you click like and subscribe. Doing so really helps YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it, as do Bonnie and Clyde. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.